What's up ferals? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chris as always and today's video I'm going to show you how to share files between computers or more computers using Ethernet cable or internet cable or RG45 cable whatever you can call it and this is very important when you want to transfer large files and you don't want to use the USB or you don't want to use hard disk and you can still use this cable and do the magic and uh, there are two methods that you can use while doing this exercise the first method is to use the switch then you can connect multiple computers and then you can choose the the computer that can act as a server computer and others will act as clients and the second method is the method that use the cable and then you can connect one cable from one computer and then for other time you know, is going now to another computer then you can share the files between the computers in, the, in this case I, i'm using cat6 ethernet cable and then uh, this exercise I'm going to do here is applying the FTP or file transfer protocol concept and then for doing this exercise we will need three things first we will need the computers to share files and then the second thing you will need the the working internet cable or ethernet cable like this one and then the third thing is to have the RG45 port and when you don't have it on your computer you will need to bring the external RG45 port so let's go ahead and perform the actions and then we have the fun along the way and so we are going to go ahead and plug our cable between our computers so I'm going to unfold this one then I will go and plug in my desktop and then I will plug in my laptop then you I continue with another processes so let me go ahead and plug it in my desktop here and so we come with the cable again and then we plug it in my laptop over here and you see at the simple click and after that um, you're going to perform other actions along the way and so after we plug the cable in, in, into our computer you're going to go here on our network icon then you can see now it is saying an identified network you can go ahead and do right click open network and internet settings and then you can follow me along to to see what i'm going to do here okay after seeing this interface you can go here where it's written change adapter options okay and then you click there you will see now we have uh, our ethernet and then we can go ahead and do right click and then go to properties after going to properties we will navigate and see so we have written internet protocol version 4 you can click on there then go to properties again and you will see now where to put ip address if you don't know what an ip address is don't be overwhelmed it's in uh, it's a, a, an address that identify any device on the network and in this case don't think too much i'm going to show you some ip address you can use in here and the default gateway we are going to follow this exercise okay let's go ahead and use the following ip address in this case let me put 192 168.5.1.5.1 uh, uh, and then the subnet mask when you click there it will it will enter it automatically and in this case on the default gateway let me put 192 168 and here 5 let me put the gateway as a uh, let me put five and then the, the default gateway will be the same for two computers and after doing this you can go ahead and click ok ok after doing this you see now it's now identifying again you can leave it as it is and then we are going to go on the other computer then we do the same as we have done on this computer then you go to the network icon do light click open network and internet settings then you wait for a bit um, or you can use the command here you can use ncp.cpl to teach to the adapter like a press of button but for if you have not followed the uh, the above process the above process you can do the same here change adapter options you can go on the ethernet where is it ethernet okay i think it is this one gigabit you can go ahead and go to properties again like we did in this computer and uh, wait go to internet protocol version 4 you can go on properties 
then you can choose the IP address there are some IP address set here you can remove this and then we set ours and the default gateway also and in this case you can put the address like 192.168.5 three uh, dot five dot uh, uh, while he was in this computer I used like I was in leeching let me check again uh, before before I made an error I don't want to make an error I was using 5.1 in this case let me use 5.2 and here submit mask to be automatically complete and then for the default gateway I'm going to put the same default gateway and 168.5 and then then dot five then you have to click ok again here and then close okay now we are going to share files now so i'm gonna use this computer and i'm going to try to share one file from this desktop and then you will try to access it via this computer the process is very simple and you can follow along to see how i did this one so i'm going to take like example let me take this folder you can you can choose it and then you go to right click and then you can choose where wherever it's written give access to and then choose specific people after choosing specific people you click on here and then you will see the dialog box like this one when you see the dialog box like the dialog box like this one you can go ahead and choose everyone and then after choosing everyone you can i uh, can click on add after everyone is added you can see now the permission level the permission level it means when to read only the 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 user that will access this file will be able to read but not able to modify it but when you put read and write he, he or she will have the or the right to read and can also modify the file so let me read like this one then you can go ahead and press share and then you can see it's now a writing sharing items and then you can wait like a couple of seconds for this dialog to disappear and you see now your folder is shared after this you can go ahead and press done after pressing done you can go on the other computer again and you can try to access the file uh, using the way i'm going to show you okay on this computer you can access the run to access the run you can simply press windows and the arrow button and then you can put uh double forward slash like this one then you put the ip address of this computer the ip address that we gave this computer was 192.168.5 dot two i guess it was it was like that one when you finish like writing that one you can press on ok and then you wait for a little bit then you see now there is a pop-up box that asks us to enter some credentials and in this case we have to know the credentials that you this user used to log in and then when you are sharing files you have to ask the credentials from this machine and in this case i'm using my credentials my username is now christian always and then my password is uh, let me write my password i can't spare my password here after putting my password i can go ahead and press ok and the, in this case i can see all the files now uh, that we have now shared you can see there are multiple folders here but there is some folder which was on the desktop that we shared in this case uh, as, as long as i shared the desktop you can see it in the users and then you can choose like this one and when when you go to the desktop you can see now we can access all the files so you can see here now i i was able to access the files from this folder that i shared on desktop but there are some folders from the previous search that i have done and you can be able to access this one you can even copy uh, or modify files from here it can depend on the permission level that we have set so guys that was it on how to share files i hope you guys liked this video so much it was simple and everyone can be able to do it and if you like this video don't leave without pressing like and if now you can go on this channel for the first time and you liked it press subscribe and see you there next time and then i promise you won't miss a thing ciao